Sri Lanka's Foreign Minister Ali Sabri spoke to Vion about the ties between India and Sri Lanka. He said that a rising India will create many opportunities for Sri Lanka and believes that India will become the leader and spearhead development in South Asian region. Listen in. India and Sri Lanka share close relationship. Uh, Sri Lanka is uh, a very important partner for New Delhi. With me is the Foreign Minister of Sri Lanka to talk about this relationship among other issues. So welcome to Vion. It's a pleasure to speak to you here in Delhi in person. A lot of things have been happening. India supported you last year. But there's a cultural, historic uh, linkage between the two countries. So how will you characterize uh, this relationship between Sri Lanka and India? Well, Sri Lanka-India relationship is the, one of the most important relationships, for, if not the, the most important for Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's not a, a singular uh, uh, angle one, it is a sharing of a, a, a civilization, you know. So if you look at the, the religious, cultural, social, economic uh, and neighborhood, so we are a multi-pronged relationship for the long, long period of time. If you look at the, the, the Buddhism, which cherished by the Sri Lankans, about 70% of the Sri Lankans or 72% of the Sri Lankans are uh, followers of Buddhism. It's a gift from your country, you know. So therefore, it's a, it's a great relationship. Uh, it's no, n n nothing uh, like any other relationship. So therefore, it's very, very important. And more than that, uh, right now, with India rising, with so much of potential, so, so much of uh, advancement it is taking, there's a great opportunity for Indians and the Sri Lankans to collaborate together mm -hmm. and create a situation which is win-win, uh, no? good for Sri Lanka, good for India, and good for the region. So we are looking forward and we are, to be honest, we are very um, excited to see how India is progressing because we know that can spill over, mm -hmm. that can influence Sri Lanka and the whole region. Mm -hmm. In I am a firm believer of it is that regions which develop, mm -hmm. European Union region, you know, uh, the, the North American region, the Middle Eastern region, or the ASEAN region. This is the turn for South Asia. Mm -hmm. India is leading it, and we all want a peace, stability, and progress for all. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are very hopeful, exciting times ahead. Mm -hmm. Any plans for um, trading arrangement when it comes to uh, the Indian rupee and the Sri Lankan rupee, uh, any conversation happening? Yes. Of course, yeah, it's happening uh, in, in big time. We are looking at uh, just what you did with the Singaporeans. We are talking and even yesterday I saw there was discussions going on. We are very keen to do that because uh, we understand 300 million uh, Indians traveling. Mm -hmm. Uh, why not uh, come to Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. most of them, uh, and use your own currency? Mm -hmm. So we are trying to provide a platform for that. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's a great, great potential of doing it, uh, and I'm sure there will be significant uh, uh, milestones in months to come, not mm -hmm. years to come, months to come, in terms of renewable energy, in terms of integration, in terms of uh, currency swaps, and, and also uh, integration with the whole Indian the apparatus there. So, uh, so that's what I say that uh, uh, exciting time for the whole South Asia mm -hmm. led by India. Mm -hmm. Can I say that by the end of this year an Indian tourist if he goes to Sri Lanka can use Indian rupee to buy a souvenir? That's what we are looking at. I'm hopeful it will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it will be good. You know, so that uh, not only that we want more, more connectivity. Uh, I'm grateful that uh, one of the Sri Lankan private airlines are flying now to Mumbai. Uh, one of the private airlines is now flying from uh, Madras to uh, uh, the Jaffna mm -hmm. and Vistara has just started. Mm -hmm. So more connectivity and probably and then we are also looking at ferry service mm -hmm. from Tamil Nadu to Colombo which is eight, the, um, um, not Colombo uh, rather the, to Jaffna, mm -hmm. uh, KKS 18 kilometers, 20 kilometers, mm -hmm. 40 minutes probably you are there. So this is the kind of connectivity we want to create. So put people to people contact mm -hmm. and we cannot be living in the past or forever. Mm -hmm. There is a great relationship you have had for a long period of time. It is a time for us to rekindle it and strengthen it. Mm -hmm. And what about defense partnership or defense relationship? Uh, we gave Dornier last year and I believe there's one on the anvil as well. Yes, uh, defense. I think recently we had the, uh, the defense discussions here in, uh, in New Delhi. Um, those discussions are ongoing. Um, so we will. Uh, we have always um, underlined the fact that 
any legitimate concerns of India will be taken into consideration. But uh, like any uh, sovereign countries, you, you, we will have to still work with all the countries uh, in the world. Uh, so we, we understand and we are, uh, continue to talk and there are good level of understanding between senior officials in both defense, external affairs in all the ministries together. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure issues will come up from time to time. Mm -hmm. We should not be too excited about it. We should sit, discuss, and resolve those things, and I'm sure uh, we we all understand that, and we will find a way uh, to strengthen the relationship uh, and and to create absolutely peaceful environment both in the region as well as in the Indian Ocean. Mm. Uh, so it is good for everybody.